Hello, I am a Mr. Fluffy Bulls. Oh, Mr. Fluffy Bulls, it is honestly such an honor to meet you, sir. I heard so much about you from Mr. Wiggles. Okay, well, uh, if you wanna if you wanna get to bed now, Mr. Fluffy Balls, uh, we'll be happy to shut down the hotel for you. I mean, this is a all-inclusive 24-hour stay, and we'll we'll be making your breakfast for you in the morning. Hey, Logan, what do we have? Dried fish or something? Ew! What's going on, everyone? It's Papa Jake, and we are back with a brand new video. And today, guys, we are gonna be building a cat hotel. That's right, guys. Mr. Fluffy Balls is currently on his way Mr. Fluffy to Balls. our house. He's extremely wealthy and a good friend of Mr. Wiggles, so you know we cannot mess up this hotel for him. It needs to be five stars, six stars. It needs to be the creme de la creme of hotels. Jake. Yes. The last time Mr. Wiggles was here, we made a pretty awesome hotel, but this time we gotta step up our game, Jake. I'm talking about five-story box fort. Yeah, that's right, guys. This thing needs to be absolutely legit. Jake, I see it. It's over there. It is there, Logan. It is the Toys R Us of pets. It's PetSmart. Which is where we are gonna get all of the stuff that we need to make Mr. Fluffy Balls extremely happy. Now, thankfully, because we've watched every single cat video on the internet, I know a thing or two about cats and exactly what they like. I mean, I don't really like cats because I'm allergic to them, <laughs> but we're just gonna have to make the best hotel we can do. All right, well, let's get inside PetSmart, guys, and start finding some stuff for this hotel, and then we need to get back home and start building this thing, because Mr. Fluffy Balls is coming very soon, and I've heard he has a big temper. Here we are, guys. Time to find us some cat toys. All right, guys, we found the cat aisle. There is a lot of cat aisle. Jake, there is so much cool stuff here. Mr. Fluffy Balls will love these Fluffy Balls. Oh, <gasps> yo, can we get this? I want this. That's pretty sick. Laser pointer. Dude, we have like a laser light show for him. Look, and I found my newest bestest friend. What's his name? I'm gonna name him Ted the Turtle. Dude, look, he's following me around. Ted, come down here. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ted? Go take him props. Yeah, dude, you're so sick. What's up? <laughs> Can we take the turtle home? No, not today, Jake. Today's goal is the hotel. All right, guys, looks like we have everything we need for Mr. Fluffy Balls. Plus, we can make some stuff at home, but do we need to get back and start building this hotel? Meow. Before he gets here. Let's get going. Okay, guys, so we are home, and we have been working on this cat hotel for quite some time, and it is looking, well, about half complete, and we do not have a whole lot of time before dude, Mr. Dude, Fluffy he's Balls coming shows in up. like he's coming in like one hour. He's not gonna like this, dude. It needs to be bigger. It needs to be grander. We don't even have any rooms yet. Well, like, we have this one room built, okay, but well, that's about it. Yeah. So we we definitely have a lot of stuff to add on to this. Right now, we've been focusing on the actual like build of it using the cardboard. We haven't added any of the fun stuff yet. But to give you guys a quick little tour, this is probably my favorite spot over here. This is a ramp for Mr. Fluffy Balls to climb up to the second story. Now, Logan. Have you done the math on this? Can he climb this? I don't know, it might be too slippery. <laughs> he might, okay, this might not be a ramp, this might be a slide, depending on how Mr. Fluffy Balls works. But guys, all in all, it is coming together. We have a ton of really cool like holes and stuff for him to crawl through. Lots of different fun places to play with, but we still need to add more. I'm gonna start working on his room here, making it really cozy and comfy, while I think, Logan, you need to start working on the play place for him. <laughs> So far, I built a cool little Lego wall for his play place underneath on the first story. So the main entrance of this cat hotel is right there. Once you come in, you come into this grand opening hall with a beautiful Lego brick. And then you have an exit into the back, which will have a play place right here. Let's go see what Jake's working on. Yo, what's up, dude? Currently, I am working on probably the most important part of this entire fort. It's a little cat teeter-totter. <laughs> physics, but essentially, Logan, the cat would walk up this side. Okay, I'm still working on it, but you guys know how teeter-totter works, all right? Yeah, Jake, this is not a teeter-totter. Also, I don't know, I don't know. So far, this is the cat hotel. It is looking pretty awesome. We have a bunch of cool little rooms here, a cool little tunnel for him to crawl through, and yeah, I guess we'll just keep building and update you guys when it's done. Okay, guys, so it looks like we have officially completed the cat hotel. We have everything that we wanted added into this place and it is looking super sweet, dude. 
Check this out. I think Mr. Fluffy Balls is gonna love this place. Oh, dude, I totally agree. And look, I made the teeter totter. Now, I don't know if it's gonna work or if he's actually gonna do it, but if he does, he'll just kind of go like this. We also have on the back side here a super sweet playroom underneath here with all of the cat toys you could possibly want. And there, there's also a bridge, which I, I don't know if he's gonna get this high, but if he does, I mean, it is five yeah, stories. Dude, I, I don't know about that. Over here is going to be the snack area. We have a little meow bowl that we're gonna fill with some snacks. And through this door is the playroom. We have lots of toys for Mr. Fluffy Balls to enjoy. Dude, that looks sweet. And we also have like a stick and stuff, so we could like, you know, him around like this, maybe make him do like jumps and stuff. I don't know how Mr. Fluffy's gonna act. We don't know what he's like, dude. He could be like super serious. Maybe he doesn't like toys. Maybe he won't like any of them. But you know what he will like, Logan? Is a super luxurious room. Check this out. This is the most comfy room we have ever built. It has a super fluffy pad with extra softness. You can come in here, sleep if he wants to, or you know, just kind of relax and watch TV. No matter where he goes in, he should be able to get to the other section of the hotel. The five-story luxury cat hotel. I think it's ready, man. I think it's time that we meet Mr. Fluffy Balls. It's gonna be such an honor. Hello, I am the Mr. Fluffy Balls. Hey, Mr. Fluffy Balls, it, it is honestly such an honor to meet you, sir. I heard so much about you from Mr. Wiggles. It is not an honor to meet you. Uh, this, is, this is your cat hotel. Uh, it has everything you requested. Uh, it's, it's got your own personal room. It, it has your own personal play place. Oh, oh, okay. What is up here? Uh, yeah, so why don't you take a look around and, and oh, oh, see if you like the place. I mean, we spent a lot of time in this hotel. And you're gonna be here for the next 24 hours, so. 24 hours? Oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, this is your top story as you requested. Ah, uh, a beautiful view to look out on at night. So, do you like it? This six story is exactly what I would ask for, and a beautiful place to put all of my money. As you know, I'm quite an expensive and extremely rich cat. This is the second story. Uh, there is a fifth story up here if you'd like to go up there. I don't know if you want to. Is this place structurally secure? Yes, that, that is very structurally secure. I tested it myself. What is this? Uh, this is the second story. We did install a slide for you if you want Never to. Never mind, they jump up here. Is this as high as it goes? Uh, yes, that, that is the, the grand lookout spot. Now, if you want to come over here, yes, uh, this is where we have some food for you. Uh, well, it's not breakfast time yet. Uh, th this is the slide we installed. It's uh, not tested, but that's that's a treat. Meow, meow. Uh, Mr. Fluffy Balls, do you not like the slide? Is that? Like, I, I don't think he's a uh, too big of a fan of the slide. Meow. Have a good board. And we also got you lots of toys. Yes, yes Mr. Fluffy Balls. Uh, this is your personal playroom. Uh, yeah, just right in here. You can play with any of the toys you want in here. They're all for you. Uh, this ball, for example, might be really fun. Uh, or this, Mr. Fluffy Balls, it's it's uh, uh, a mouse of some sort. I do like the balls. That's why it's in the name. I think he likes the toys. Uh, yes, that, that ball does move, Mr. Fluffy Balls. Uh, like this, watch. Oh my god. Guys, we spent so much time on this hotel for Mr. Fluffy Balls, and he's going into our other box for us. Look, we can't even find him. Once we find him, we'll bring him back here. There's still a lot more to show him, and I want to see if he can do my teeter totter, dude. I worked so hard on that. Jake, I found him. Where is he? Mr. Fluffy Balls? Oh, there you are. Where'd you go? Hey, Mr. Fluffy Balls. Oh. So currently, he's kind of just walking around the fort, checking out everything. Uh, he seems to really like the playroom, but he's extremely excited like he doesn't really want to stay in one place at once and I mean he hasn't really gone in his bedroom yet but I think that's probably because he's not tired I mean it is the middle of the day and Mr. Fluffy Balls is extremely energetic Mr. Fluffy what are you doing in there? Guys the cool thing about Mr. Fluffy is he looks like a little cheetah he's got like cheetah print on him Do not touch me I've never really pet a cheetah before and I don't suggest petting a cheetah but he feels like what I think a cheetah feels like he doesn't like this ball. I thought because he has Mr. Fluffy Balls in his name, he'd really like this, but he just doesn't seem to like it. This is my castle. Hey, Mr. Fluffy. Ali. Down we go. Dude, he went down the slide. I mean, it wasn't really a slide. He kind of used it as a ramp, but I really wanted to use my teeter daughter, guys. Like, Mr. Fluffy, 
It's like this. Look at how fun this is. Before you go on this, I didn't exactly think you would use this. The structural integrity is... Is this even structurally safe? Well, it, it, it's, uh, uh yes, it's, it's somewhat, like, yeah, I, I did use my best as a box for building. I have to use a stretch. stretch. Okay, that, that works too. Call this a bridge? This is uh, horrible. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it is kind of a bridge. No, I know it's a horrible bridge. This is unacceptable. Uh, yes, it is kind of unacceptable. I am, I am so sorry. I would tell him what that. Nope. Well, Jake, at least he used the bridge. Okay, I'm tired now. I should sleep. Okay, well, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna get to bed now, Mr. Fluffy Balls, uh, we'll be happy to shut down the hotel for you. I mean, this is a all-inclusive 24-hour stay, and we'll we'll be making your breakfast for you in the morning with everything you want. I think on the menu, Logan, what do we have? Dried fish or something? Okay, dried fish. Yeah, yeah, dried fish. The the driest of fish, dude. Does he like dried fish? Six and a half hours late. Uh, good, good morning, Mr. Fluffy Balls. How did you sleep last night? I slept quite well, like a cat. I don't know if that means he slept well or bad. <laughs> Technically, if he's got that much energy after waking up, it must mean that he slept pretty well. Very well. Jake, well, it's time to prepare breakfast. Is that my food I hear? Breakfast is downstairs, Mr. Fluffy Balls. Downstairs. I can smell something quite nice in the air. So for Mr. Fluffy Balls today, I have prepared a nice meal of a couple snacks. Hello, Mr. Fluffy Balls. I uh, I prepared your breakfast. Wait, for what you. are you doing in here? A cat hotel, yes, not for it's, you. Yes, uh, it's quite nice. I, I made it myself. I worked very hard in the kitchen to, to make this for you. Yes, it is quite nice. So glad you enjoyed, sir. It's an honor. May I pet you while you eat? All right, I will allow it to be. Petting Mr. Fluffy Balls while he eats. Ask him what he rates this hotel. Uh, Mr. Fluffy Balls, may I ask you, what do you rate this hotel? I will give it four and a half stars. Oh, wow, sir. Well, that, that is quite an honor. Thank you so much. We spent so much time on it. I mean, this, this entire place is for you to spend your 24 hours. I even brought this ball. I did not like the ball. Just like my ball. I was thinking, if you were to get, say, 50,000 likes, perhaps I could send some of my friends to come and stay. They are both sugar gliders in your next video. Oh, guys, did you hear that? If we get 50,000 likes, Mr. Fluffy Balls is gonna recommend that his friend's sugar gliders come. Wait, those things Jake, are sweet. What's a sugar glider? Glider, Logan. They literally glide through the air and fly like birds, but they're little like hamsters. Mini hamsters that fly? Yeah, it's gonna be sick. Okay guys, smack that like button. We need to get 50,000 likes. Well, I think this is where we are gonna wrap up this video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed our Cat Boxford Hotel. If you guys did, do not forget to smack that like button down below and leave a comment down below as to which animal you think we should do next. Guys, let's try and get 50,000 likes. Mr. Fluffy Balls is gonna send some sugar gliders. Dude, that'd be so sweet. Yeah, guys, let's crush that like goal so we can check out some sugar gliders. They fly around like from, 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 from. But anyway, thank you guys so very much. This has been Papa Jake and Logan. And we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video.